I saw your pretty face A move I had to make I thought that you were heaven sent That was my first mistake Hello, John Neal here, and today I'm going to wear the hat of a calligrapher, or, or handwriting really, um, and I'll show you how I, I produce this piece of work. Um, this one as well, very interesting, and great fun doing these, um, quite like these two, which I've done completely with, whoops, <laughs> completely with uh, this masking fluid, fluid which uh, comes out of a little tube almost like a syringe and it's lovely to use it's been really good fun and without a word of a lie would I lie to you no I would not mask pen has just turned up in the post just sent for this from a river in South America and uh, it's, it says it's got a nylon nib so I'm going to open this soon and see exactly what it's like um, <clears throat> shall I do it now here it is and does it unscrew? Uh, uns oh, yeah, unscrews. Oh, blimey. Ah, doesn't unscrew, it pushes. It's a very similar one to this. Very similar. It's just a, a fine tube here. And let me just see. how it comes out. I think that's excellent. And it does it uh, just a little bit thicker than the other one does. So I'm going to work, look forward to using that. Mind you, this was more expensive. This was 10 quid. I swear that one was about five. Yes, I've used uh, water-based inks for this. Um, they're calligraphy inks and they're quite strong and uh, it is said that if you use uh, opaque uh, paints like acrylic and oil it's a bit like training a dog you tell it where to go and it goes there that's good watercolor however it's a bit like training cats you put it on and it goes where it will so you got the control it's a little bit more difficult but it can be quite fascinating as well we know so um, so masking fluid and then, uh, which will, the masking fluid, of course, will hold the colour that it sits on. So you put colour down first, usually a light one. Um, hold it with the masking fluid for the design that you want. And then you put a darker uh, colour on the top. So it's the tone difference which is important to get that right. Um, it's worth a bit of experimentation because you're not always going to have it work perfectly each time. And you can't really go back on it once you've done it. So, let's get on with it. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is to wet this paper all over with clean water and then just use some calligraphy inks actually to make sure this is completely covered. Another way is to uh, use a, a spray. Make sure it's all nice and wet. Not necessarily over wet, but just enough. And then I'm going to use a red calligraphy ink just to dab in place. Let's use a yellow as well. if we cannot uh, thin it out a little bit. So I'm just going to lift some of these heavy darker areas off. Well, I'm going to use this masking fluid um, there's various sorts. This one's really good because it's got this um, very fine tube, like a, a hypodermic needle at the top. 
I'll do, use that later on. But first I'm going to use a wide brush, this one, which is a half inch brush. Um, I'll FLM with this and do the rest with something else. But let me just get some of this. And after I've used it, I will wash this very quickly because if it sets on the brush, it'll ruin it. Right. You can hardly see it first. And of course, this masking fluid will hold the colour that's underneath, which is this red. Right, excuse me, just going to wash my brush. Right, well that's the brush washed under a running tap. I do not want to, just to dab it in water will not be enough, otherwise it'll ruin it. Right, the next bit is this. When we use this, it is quite easy to show you on this piece of card. When you press it, obviously it comes squirting out. But it's really fairly controlled, so it is quite possible to do some fairly thin lines with it. Just a little bit of pressure as you work, I think, works quite well. You can just about see where you are. So I've now got to put first and last. Uh, you'll notice I've uh, taped down the edges. Once the paper gets wet, it starts to curl up and go all over the place. So it's a good idea to pin it down. And uh, right, now it's the fun part. Don't forget, the masking fluid holds the colour that it's sitting on. So that will stay the same. And hopefully it's light enough. It's a lot to do with tones now. So the tone of this paper here underneath is fairly light and I'm going to now put on top of it the darker one and uh, I've got some purple you, you've got to see the cut the name of this it's a Liquitex uh, professional acrylic um, calligraphy ink and it's called dioxazine purple I'm impressed with the name if nothing else right I've watered it down a little bit because it can be very very sharp so let's see what we go, and this is the best bit because now we'll start to see what we've ended up. Oh, blimey, that is dark. But look, that's going over the masked area, and I think it will just start to resist. Resistance is futile. A bit like wax resists this. I suppose you could do it with wax. Maybe try that another time. Well, that's nice and dark for sure. Right, let's let that dry, make sure it's nice and dark all around it. There's a few holes in the masking fluid there and there, which will be purple. But we see. Well, that is dry. This is the exciting part because you can brush off, rub off the masking fluid and it reveals the colour that's underneath. Around it. 
You seem to be the girl for me My eyes were wide awake I thought my dreams had all come true But that was my first mistake You played me like a fish on a line You pulled the strings of my heart You did my head in day by day I wish we were apart Well, thank you for watching that and for listening to the song as well. By the way, if you want to listen to more of the music that I do, it's on SoundCloud as a link below as per usual. Uh, I bet somebody was going to ask what the ink was. Well, these are they. And um, the Liquid Text um, Professional Acrylic Inks. And they're very, very good, very powerful, of course, which is sort of what we want in this occasion. So, um, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again next time. Thank you, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.